On College Lane, we got the Oval Gym, which is open 24-7. It's got about 50 stations there, and there's always people at the desk, always there to help you. And on the Haviland campus, we got a massive gym, 100 stations in there. There is a huge area for free weightlifting. I usually go to the gym alone, but I much prefer going with my friends because it makes me a little bit more motivated and we can always encourage each other. We also got 25 meter eight lane swimming pool. We have a 12 meter indoor climbing wall, three sports hall for badminton, volleyball, football, basketball, and 90 classes, for example, hit sessions or smash ab sessions, cycling sessions and things like that. I didn't think I would enjoy them at all, but I tried it once and I really loved it. And now I'm going every Wednesday religiously. We also got award-winning active student program with over 75 programs completely free. So I use active students a lot. They offer very different uh, training sessions with no commitment and no fees. They have like a huge list of the activities you can choose from. You can go at any session and you don't have to go again if you don't like it. They are organizing activities, sports activities and physical activities for all the students who can engage themselves together. It is also a platform where you can meet other new people from different backgrounds and have a new social circle over there. It gets you really engaging with the people and no matter if you're not that of a social person, but that, getting involved with those facilities and activities with the sports village and uh, sports societies, it gives you motivation and incentives to achieve more. I do like the fact that the sports facilities are located on campus, on both campuses. I live closer to College Lane, but this doesn't stop me from going to sports facilities on DHAV because I can easily get the shuttle, which runs every 15 minutes or so. It is really convenient to have the gyms on the campuses, especially if you live on campus as well. On my first year, I was living on campus and I was going to the Oval Gym very often and I found it great because after the gym you can barely walk really so it's great when you only have to walk like a hundred meters back to your home and just fall into bed. So obviously there's accommodation available on both DHAV and College Lane campus and based on which course you're on obviously it'd be easier for you to live on either one. Before I applied for accommodation when I before I moved out actually I was um, really nervous as to how my flatmates would be who I'd be living with uh, because I personally lived at Schofield Court which is a townhouse. There were a total of I'd say 12 people in my accommodation. It was really good um, getting to know everyone, um, staying with everyone and there was like one big kitchen which we all shared. The meeting so many new people on campus I feel like worked really positively for me because um, I personally love to meet new people. Um, you're not only meeting people from this area but people come from everywhere like different countries, different cities and I feel like that's the best part of it because you get to learn so much about different cultures. If you're first year and you're applying for accommodation you're guaranteed which is really good and and there's also a resident assistant on campus as well if you need help with your um, livings or anything like that. And also when you do live on campus, if there is anything that goes wrong, you just kind of have to turn up at the oval and they do come up straight away to fix it as well. So as well as there being security 24-7 throughout the whole year, there is also a UH police dedicated team as well, which makes it one of the 20 safest campuses in the east of England, which I feel like is a really good point because especially with parents, with their kids moving out, we'll be really worried as well about safety because my parents personally were as well. Another thing that I definitely was really handy was the shuttle bus um, through which you could actually um, travel to supermarkets nearby as well and it's free obviously and the Galleria which is a shopping centre right close to the uni if you want to go out just have um, any dinner or just make time with your friends anything like that. Uh, the library was really really useful for me because I feel like um, even when I needed books at midnight I can just run to the library, just grab a book and finish my assignment. I feel like that worked really positively as well. As an engineering student I do a lot of computer-aided design work and for that part I use the LRCs, the Learning Resource Centers. Uh, I study on College Lane campus so I use that LRC although sometimes I go to the DHAV LRC because of my friends and it's a lot more fun when we work with friends. So LRCs is 24-7 for us and being a law student, uh, it, is it is my requirement to be studying and to research. So for that, I have to be connected with the, with the online uh, resources. And for that, LRC has uh, a lot of support. They, they've also installed really good Wi-Fi system. It was a part of a two million pound plan. 
uh, for the university Wi-Fi. This is the best facility that a student can get regarding their studies and their research work, where we have specific rooms, where you can book even uh, group study rooms and individual study rooms. Uh, LRCs uh, also have uh, presentation rooms. They have the latest technology regarding uh, computers and MacBooks and we have our own uh, uh, system for printing and scanning so it, even in the middle of the night if you need to print something you just have to drop into the LRC. This is the best place to study in my opinion because at home you, you don't have that studying environment you're less motivated to work but when you're in LRC it's much easier to get in that study mode. Um, they have a lot of different rooms in LSE, so I really like the one, the silent study room. Student center facilities are really, really helpful in our university, including accommodations, ID card issues, parking permits, and residential allocations. Even if you are having problem with your uh, financial fundings, or if you, if you want other options of installments with your fees, and if you are an international student, they have really good facilities like place to pay. So we also have Wellbeing Center in our university. They're here to support you throughout your studying with your personal issues or anything related to university or not related to university. The Wellbeing Center has helped me a lot in struggles that I had with my mental health throughout uh, these three years in the university. I would really recommend going there and asking for help. The people who are working there are very nice and they're very supportive and very helpful and I strongly recommend that one. Plus, our, our university in College Lane have uh, their own Students' Union office. Uh, Students' Union is a really private organization in our university, but still, uh, they're working with our university administration. It's totally independent organization, you can feel it, and uh, if you have any problems, if you have any representative issues over there, if you, if you feel like you, you have something, you have some advice that you uh, want people to hear out, just uh, go to the SUs and the and the student representatives over there. They're really helpful to you towards you because uh, they're they're keen to work towards their ambitions and goals. I like using the career center because uh, they are lovely people. They really helped me a lot. Uh, last year, uh, I was applying for a placement and I had to try out something completely new to me. I had to. Uh, make a professional looking CV, write a professional cover letter. I had to seek professional advice from these people and they really, really helped me out. In three cases, I managed to reach the assessment center process of the recruitment uh, for big companies, including Jaguar, Land Rover, uh, including Caterpillar or Vector JB. So if you have questions regarding your uh, placements, regarding your graduate jobs, go over there, just drop in. You don't need any appointment over there, just drop in and they will help you regarding your CV applications, regarding your uh, placement opportunities and they will guide you through it uh, step by step. At the University of Hertfordshire we really take employment seriously and we want our students to come out with the maximum skills possible to make sure they succeed in the job market when they complete their studies. With that in mind, a placement is an amazing way to get that experience and the Careers and Employment Service can really support you with that. We have an excellent employer team that are out there sourcing exclusive vacancies for our students as well as making sure you're signposted to the general vacancies available as well. We hold twice yearly careers fairs where we get employers on campus or at the moment virtually to tell you about their opportunities. Um, we have a careers advisor team that can support you with all of your applications when you're applying to placements. We also have resources as well so at the times that we're not working you can still get access to information and amazingly we also have a mock assessment centre for all second year students who are looking for placements that they can take part in that makes them really really ready to ace the application process.